Yo, what is good everyone? So today I'm gonna be showing you how I created this super simple website design in Figma. And there's a trend floating around, it's a glass morphism effect. So I figured I'd make my own little design and just show you how I made it. And right here, this is the first draft. But normally when I make designs, I like to make a bunch of different variations and change up the colors just to get a different feel and see, you know, things that I might like and might not. So here I'll just show you like some of the things I recreated. And by the way, let me know in the comments which one looks the best. And if they all look terrible, you know, you can let me know too. But uh, basically here I just switched up the button style. And then for this one, I just went all black background with like the blue button here. And then here I decided to switch it up side by side view. I personally like this one right here. And then I switched it to a blue color to see how that looks as well. And then as you can see, I switched it up to a completely different one, a little green. This one I changed the color and then also changed like the uh, the way it's shaped and add these little like little circle effects for design. But uh, these are just like random things I was just testing out. And then here I did the same thing except I changed the actual copy so the text made it a lot uh, smaller and then added some more content here. And then I left it off with this one right here and it has basically the same things except a lot has changed since the original first one as you can see here which is up here. But uh. Yeah, let me know which one you think looks the best or which ones could use improvement. But for today, they're basically the same thing. So I'm actually gonna just make this one right here and show you how I made this exact example. And then if you wanted to like move them around, change up the design, then you can feel free to do that too. So let's actually go and let's hop over to the blank screen over here and you guys can go hop into your Figma or whatever you're using and then we can actually get started. So here I am, I brought up the design that we're gonna be recreating and go ahead and open up Figma, whatever you're using for designing and then we can get started. By the way, if you want me to code this out, I'll probably make a more complex design. If you want me to code it, let me know in the comments below, and then I'll do that for like another video. But here, Figma, this one's fairly simple. I mainly wanted to show you this little glass morphism effect, but the rest are pretty self-explanatory. But here, I just press F, a little shortcut key, and I just use the standard desktop one. And then we can just, let me just drag this over here. And let me do this. Let me click on this background, like out here, and just change this to like a, like a little gray because it's hard to see right now and let's start off with the desktop and i'm just going to change the fill here so let's do linear and i use three different colors so let's do this let's go here go like this and then you can you can play around with like the positioning and everything but basically i'm just going to take these little codes so i'll just click into mine and that one's 514 40e and it's probably easier if I just get it from the straight source. So let's try it. So it looks like it's a little different. So let's do this. Let's do clan C413 CD6. So let's do that. Click back onto it. And let's paste that in. Okay, there we go. And then next one, I'm gonna click in the middle. And then I'm gonna go, and let me exit off here. Let me click back on my original. Let me get my color. This one is 78. 5, 9F1, and let's go here, click into this middle one, and then also make sure this opacity is like 100% so you can actually see it, and then the last one right here, let's just make it full white, and then let's click on here and see, let me get that color, that last color, and once I get this one, we should be set with like the actual background. So what's that? A750FF. And then we'll go here and I'll paste that in. So there, that's just like the simple gradient. Again, you don't have to you copy that, but it's just background. And now let's zoom in a little bit. So here for this little nav bar, usually what I do is uh, I just press R, so rectangle. And just draw something out and then we can just make the height 80 and then with oh, let's just drag it all the way to the edge and the reason I'm doing this is because it's it's just easier for me to like align things and you can see here you can't really see it right now but uh originally I had something there but normally when I'm creating the uh, like my nav bars and I don't have like a just general I'd say like background, then I usually create like a rectangle separate so I can actually align things better. So for instance, if I make this like, just like dark color and then I can go text, just press T, click into it. I just typed in invis 
we can change the color to FFF. And I'm using, right now, let me see if I use Poppins or Montserrat. Yeah, so this one is Poppins. So you can change it to Poppins and then uh, Medium. And then we can actually go to the desktop and make sure we have the grid. So we can click on this layout grid, change this to columns, 12. And then we can go, I'll just put it like right here, nice and centered. And then I can just, I'll just do Command D and it just straight up duplicates it. And I'll just bring this over. And let's just put it starting. That'll probably do like right there. Again, this this is just menu stuff. You can always tweak this. And I don't know what just happened, but it dragged. I just did command D again. It like moved it over there. But here I can put uh actually like login. And then for this one, just say let's do benefits. Yeah, so this part doesn't really matter, but uh let me put it like I think I'll put it 40 pixels. 40 looks fine to me. And it's not perfect, but it's okay. And then we can just click into this. And then let's just change this to, let's do 20. And then we can just drag this and make it aligned. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always fix that around. But for the most part, the menu is done. So the nav, we can just make this like a 0% so you can't see it. And then let's do the little text buttons and then we can add the little glass credit card effect. So let's just do T, click on it, do zero fees. And then let's do, I think I did 120 on this one, but I used uh, extra bold, I believe. Yeah. No, actually, it's like 160. Yeah, it was 160. Yeah, let's do 160. And also we can click on like uh, the desktop and the text and then just center that way too. It's easier. And then in terms of alignment, again, you're welcome to just, you know, fix it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, somewhere around like the uh, closer to the top area was fine. And then here we can just do straight up white. And then and we can take off this grid here because it's basically just centering things. And then under here, let's just do T again. Text is going to be massive. So let's just do four transactions below. 1,000, so you can't see it. Let's do, let me see what I put here, 40. Yes, yeah, so let's do 40, change it to, let's do medium. And then you can make it white. I made it like a lightish gray. So we can do like EF, EF, EF. White's fine too, it doesn't really matter too much. And then here we'll just make a rectangle, so press R, then I'll just Drag it out a little rectangle, and for the height, uh, let's see, we can do 80, and then for the width, let's just do, let's see, 260. That might be too much. Let me see what I put here. 200. Yeah, let's do 200, and then 70 here. And then for the little radius, I mean, you can put 50, should make it rounded, or if you want to go safer, but you can just do like 999 in case like it's a bigger screen. Then center this one here zoom in make this like a you can like 1b 1b that's fine and then text press t click sign up and this stuff's fairly easy but once we get the little credit card design then we can get a little fancier change that to white and that looks fine to me and then we can click on the text and the button command g so it groups it and then we can just like align things make sure everything's good then that looks fine to me and you can make the positioning like you can hold shift the up arrow and play around with it but again it's, that stuff's not too important right now and now let's create the actual little credit card so let me make sure i got the right dimensions 500 by 300 so let's do r again just draw one out let's do 500 by 300 and then here we can do like let's do 20 looks fine to me and then let's just zoom in. Let's get a little glass blur effect. So first thing is fill linear gradients. And we'll just like drag it over here. And then let me zoom out and drag this one over here. And let me just make this white. And then I think let me put 80%. Let me just play around with these colors. Then this one here as well. Bring this up to white. 
And then let's do like a, let's try like 60. And let me check my original one to see if I put anything different. So I'll click on this. That's the actual outline. So let's do the um, actual rectangle. So I'll put it straight 100 here and 40 there. So let's do that. Let's do 100 here for the top. This one can be 40, 60. I mean, you can play around with it. It doesn't really matter. But the part you want is the actual uh, effects. And then you do the background blur. And then, then you put like a high number. So I'll put like 60. And right now you can't really see anything, right? But if, if I draw like a rectangle behind it, and you can do click on the little glass card and do command in like the right bracket. If I go like that, basically it goes up. And now you can see that it's sort of see-through, but then you would have to go here to here, this linear and put like 80% that way, or you can do 60. Again, this is just all preference. There's no like perfect uh, way to do it. 80 is fine. They can actually see, you know, if I made this like a more, there, you can see it's much better. So now you get a little blur. Cause if I were to take out the, uh, this, see, it just looks, doesn't look that good. But then the blur that adds more of the effects. And now we can pretty much go in here and just add a little text. So let's just do T. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, four, space, five, six, seven, eight. Nine zero one two three four five six, and then you can just change that to white. I'll zoom in. I'm gonna put it like right here near the bottom, and then I just do text again. I just type in Invis, just the logo or company name, and make sure I click out of it. Change that to white, and boom, there we go. And then I had this little like a uh, little chip. I mean, by the time, maybe in the future, the chip doesn't look like that, or who knows what they're using, but uh, here, and let me make sure I got the same dimensions, 70 by 50, so we can do width, 70, and height, 50 there. I just use white for this. Again, you can get fancy, but um, here, let's do 10. Zoom, and then make it a line here. And let's click on this, shift, click on everything, and the card, and print G. That way everything's grouped and then just command D. And then basically, I mean, you can change these numbers up if you want to. So like, I should just do four and then space random numbers. It really doesn't matter. And then we can just click on it and do the command little uh, left bracket, bring it down. Or if you wanted to, you could drag it to like this in case you like, don't know what, what option to click on. And let's see, let's do like, up here looks fine to me click it click it command g drag it down and voila there we go super basic and simple then obviously you can add more sections and stuff but uh yeah this is like a one way i did it again there's also one thing i forgot to do my bad we're not done yet we can add a little little stroke around this so that's how you click here make a little white stroke here but i want to make it a linear actually so let's do linear and then where is my oh i need to click into the yes yeah, so make sure i got the rectangle okay here's a linear and then we can drag it like this and then like this and basically let's make like a three so you can see it and then we'll just do yeah that looks fine to me so let me zoom in yeah see so a little crisp little corner and i just kept it on the first one i mean the second one you don't have to have it like I just took it off, but um, again, that's optional. You know, I mean, you can go crazy, get super detailed with this, but uh, that's basically the little rough draft first example. And then what you can do after this is like, you know, make this way cleaner, add different design effects, and I can go over to my other ones here. So I personally, I'm a fan of this type of style, but also this one's like, it's the same concept. So you can just basically grab it, rotate it here, you know, like 45, and then just rinse and repeat, try to design some of the things like this. And then also you want to get fancy, you can uh, you can actually grab like the back part and increase it in size and then go like this. And then you can add like a circle. So all I did was like add a circle, you press O and then hold shift. And then for like the stroke, have it erase the fill 
change it to color and then just drag it across your website like you know put it like here oh yeah she make it like right on the line there we go and again this is just some random stuff i was adding you don't need to do it but uh again you can get fancy with that and definitely if you make something crazy let me know comment down down below i'll definitely check it out but aside from that go ahead and subscribe to the channel comment down below if you want me to code this out or make like a full website with this and then also like this video subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one peace